Good afternoon, shopkeepers and do-it-yourselfers out there in YouTube land. Today we put rear shocks on a 2004 Cadillac CTS. Not a difficult job to do at all, really. But anyway... I've already got this side apart. We'll show you right quick what you have to do to get into the old girl. You do have to take the rear seat out. And uh, so the best thing to do is wait to repack the wheel bearings on your camper trailer until after you do this so you don't get the seat all dirty. Anyway, uh, the bottom portion of the seat comes out without tools you just grab a hold of the the center behind the right seat and the center behind the left seat a little plastic clip that is secured to the bottom of the seat it comes up with it just kind of snaps down into that little rectangular slot there and then i set it up here in the front so it won't have any chance of a bird landing on it or a cat or anything getting on it and then take the rear seat and the seat belt for the center passenger uh fastens in right there you got to have a, a ice pick or or a, a like a torx driver something small enough fitting that about an eighth inch hole and just push on that and that's the same as pushing the release button on your on your seat belt uh, a regular passenger and that releases that but this buckle has got a little divot sticking up on the opposite side it's sticked it's recessed and you can see the buckle so that's where that's going to go but all you have to do to release it just push that button in and that goes up lays up there on the rear dashboard out of the way and then pull your shoulder harnesses on both sides away from the seat and then just uh, across the bottom to get that loose there's four 15 millimeter head nuts that you have to remove those are on the bottom of the of the seat back. Anyway, you take those four nuts off, and then you open the trunk. And any bodies that are in the way, you have to have to get them out of the way. And across the top, right there, there there and there there's studs that are fastened to the the seat back that stick through them holes and there's a 10 millimeter nut on each one of those four and that's all you got to do just and that, that lays right forward you'll need a, a deep well socket because those studs are kind of long as you can see right here there's the stud there's one there one there and, and uh the two over there on that side anyhow you got this little noise dampener that sets in here and uh, you got one those little push pins That you gotta pull out it goes up here in the top pushes in right there take that out of the way and right there is where your shock comes through and you got two 13 millimeter nuts take them off and down here at the bottom fellas all you got to do is take the wheel off and uh, when you jack it up you want to leave something underneath the lower control arm to keep that spring from wanting to jump out on you 
because that, sh that shock holds that assembly up. So you don't want that coming apart on you. And the bottom, it goes in there like this with that welded nut. I'm trying to point to it with my finger. And anyway, that welded nut on there goes toward the rear of the vehicle. And then you got a 21 millimeter bolt that goes through the lower control arm and the bushing and goes in there and I will take and set that down in there and uh, push that up in there and I think that's gonna feels like it's gonna stay good deal and you can see the the shock is holding itself up we'll spin a nut on there the other nut spin that dude on there and kind of got to use a a swivel socket to get to that back one because it's kind of underneath that body bracket there and uh then just stick that bottom bolt in there and crank it tight and, and uh, we'll go underneath right quick and have a look yeah now we're underneath here and uh, you can see that the shock just have to push up on it a little bit to get the bolt in let me get my pry bar Okay, let's see if I can balance my phone here. There we go. Just pry against the bottom of the control arm. Push the shock up a little bit. Push it in there. multi-purpose screwdriver there pry bar it's got a it's got a hammer on the other end of it uh, these are hard to find these pry bar hammer combinations but they sure come in handy they sure do and uh, pry that around get it lined up for the bolt to pass through all the way Okay, that's started, and all we got to do is tighten that bolt up, tighten the two nuts up there in the top, and put the seat back in. Just remember when you're putting your seat back, back in that you pull your outside passenger uh, shoulder harnesses to the outside, get the seat back in between them. And then the four 10 millimeter nuts on the top from in the trunk and the four 15 millimeter nuts across the bottom inside and then uh, fasten your center passenger shoulder harness to the the center buckle and then slide your uh, seat bottom in and grab your uh, seat belt buckles and pull them up and slide them in the, the little groove in the center of the seat you'll see what it is and then you get the seat back back into place just push the the two clips there in the uh, right and left passenger center area just push it down there you'll hear it snap right into place and you're you're good to go anyway this is a good time to check your rear brakes while you've got it apart this guy his rear brakes was with shots we went ahead and put a set of brake pads on it and uh, bled the brake line out he's gonna be tickled to death 
anyway do it yourselfers and shopkeepers you have a have a good day hope you enjoyed the video like it share it subscribe maybe we can make something of this channel help people out have a good day